all right welcome back guys welcome to the channel thank you for tuning in all right so the wait is over sbk 2022 is out and ready to go so first impression first thought in my head is just what this is moto gp21 layout man come on the menu structure as well so there is nothing different it's just the same copy paste like we've been discussing so we're gonna be getting into the gameplay late um later on uh, i did a couple of lap um i think a couple of minutes ago so i just want to give you my give you guys my first impression about what i think and yeah i mean it just confirm everything we've been talking about on the channel this is moto gp 21 to the two copy paste so now that we know we are dealing with another moto gp 22 copy paste <laughs> how does it you know the gameplay feels like so just give me a moment i just want to show you the um uh, the official riders and also the official tracks just to give you an overview quick overview how the game looks like um if i'm not getting out of myself the um gameplay feels yeah i think something like um combination of moto gb22 with uh right four kind of um, you know physics gameplay what i mean about that is the front end is you know feel similar to right four but yet more in line with moto gp22 and then in terms of the rear grip rear movement the body movement feels a lot more like moto gp22 um, instead of being like moto G um, right four so yeah it's it's still it's still gonna be a lot of a challenge for a lot of people i mean i just did a couple of laps and which we're gonna be heading to philip island right now with the uh, ducati so my first ride on the ducati man it feels really powerful much potent compared to like yamaha yamaha is just very very slow revving to my feeling and the kawashaki sounds good but also uh not that kind of powerful but much more uh, much more nimble uh, because i just i've been i've been reading the kawashaki yamaha and also the ducati yamaha is my least favorite bike until now because i just don't like i don't know i just don't like characteristic of the bike i might i might change my opinion later on so here we are on Phillip island like i said already and um yeah the the bike feeling the physics feels to me like a combination of rifle and moto gb22 meshed physics what i mean about that is the front end it uh, feels uh somehow like right four but yet in line with moto gp 22 uh, uh feeling the rear is definitely moto gp 22 you know in terms of movement in terms of the body movement of, of the rider as well is just much more you know when you eat the brake too hard you kind of see the the rear ends you know like like swinging around at times when you eat the brake you just feel like the you have like a chattering kind of feeling in front of the um, on the front end of the bike you know which is similar and very in line with moto gp 22 feeling and um the thing I, I would say is that i think the game is just a bit more rideable for my feeling this is just a couple of laps i think if you put more time in it and also learn when to shift gear you know like like downshift because it just have so much influence on how the bike move uh, you know in terms of on the braking in terms of you know leaning into the bend because sometimes when you just kind of way too aggressive you know shifting uh, the, uh, down the gear you feel the, the rear just kind of like going um sideways and which causes the front to, to lose grip and you're just gonna slide out and crash so i think in terms of games and, and fun factor i think this is will this will fit a lot more people i think a lot more people will be, will be more we having more fun with sbk um compared to moto gp 22 uh, i'm not sure man but i just that's just my initial feeling it might change in another video but what i've been uh, what i've been you know the feeling i've been having since i've been uh, you know i've got this game i think a couple of hours ago and just been riding around i think I, i've done like four or five lap or uh, eight lap or something like that it just feel a bit um a, a bit more fun to ride and um, uh, like i say it just the, f the physics is where uh to my opinion they let down a little bit because you kind of feel like the game is incomplete you kind of feel like the game is rushed you kind of feel like um uh, there are some still uh you know you know patches and everything that's just gonna come along i think in <laughs> the next couple of days or weeks 
to to uh, to mend the game. That's just my feeling because when I uh, when I choose to customize my own own rider, it didn't go well, and um, you could see through the bike like the bike is kind of a ghost. You know, I posted a video a couple of days ago about you know <laughs> uh, ghost rider being on uh, Phillip Island on. Uh, on right for just the same you know you can you could just see through the rider see through the bike which i feel like i mean a brand new spanking game you shouldn't have this kind of bugs or you shouldn't have this kind of stuff in it here is the footage by the way you know as you can see i mean come on hello this is where we, this is what we pay for man come on you know you just you can't just see through the, the, the rider it might, it might be down to my pc i don't know let me know if you guys are having the same issue as well but it's a bit let down all right heading over to donating park on the kawa uh, which like i say already in the video it feels a bit nimble i feel like uh the, the kawashaki move a lot more compared to the ducati and yamaha as well i don't know it's just my initial thoughts it might change like i said uh, i feel like it just move a lot more on the rear the rear is more uh you have more in in instability when you go so i haven't i haven't been doing a lot of setup i just like you know do some tweak on the preload rear rear and front just to give me a better feeling on, on the front end so that's all i've been doing i haven't been going deeper it might be um i might find maybe a better suitable uh, uh, setup that will tame the rear of the car shack but for, for my first initial feeling i feel like the car is just a lot more moving on the braking on the on, on the on the input uh, just feel a, a, a little bit uh, unstable the Yamaha like I said it feel just underpowered uh, uh, you know the how it just accelerating out of the corner just so, it feel so much slower the engine sounds a bit dull um, compared to the Kawasaki and uh, the Kawasaki sounds really 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 nice so in, in this lap I'm just yeah just riding around yeah, I think this is my second lap and uh, feeling the bike feeling the game really breaking there very very early because I don't I haven't really understand where uh, if i could break much later like you, you are able to do in ride four and um another game uh, as, as you can see you know and every slight touch on the brake the rear started to to go south south or something like that man which is which, which is kind of discomforting when you're trying to uh, set a, a good lap here as well i went really wide here you know because uh, i just i just couldn't feel where the re what the rear is gonna do because the rear really determines how you how you point to the front of the bike um, but we managed to to uh, set a you know set a lap, which is not really that really that important right now. But just to give you an overview and feeling. So here is the uh, footage of the Yamaha at Donington Park. So I'm trying to uh, you know beat a lap on the Kawasaki, and I just want to show you what I'm talking about. You know you know you've seen the Kawasaki, you've seen the Ducati, and now it's the Yamaha. You know it just feel like um, the, the engine just feel feel very dull. I mean it's in line four. Well, you can't really expect a high revving, uh, screaming engine uh, sound out of it, but it just feel like much, much duller and and, um, and uh, it doesn't really feel. You don't have the punch out out of the corner. That, that's that's just my feeling, you know. Um, maybe with the update or other kind of st stuff milestone is planned to to be introducing next couple of weeks or days. My uh, uh, change that a, a little bit, but just feel a little bit. I feel like your mind just it, it turning much heavier compared to like Ducati and also the Kawa and and but nevertheless if it, it, it still feel feel very nice the year I'm with top rack and braking here <laughs> very very heavily as well and almost losing the front here and just just barely making the corner and uh, yeah now this is my initial thought my initial feeling I hope you enjoyed the video this will wrap the video up real quick I'm gonna be, you know, bringing some more footage of more SBK very soon online game as well, and also championship. I'm gonna be trying to post as, as much as I could, and just to give you uh, more feeling, and so you could uh, decide if you want to buy this game or not. But here's my first impression. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button. You know, subscribe to my channel. I do massively appreciate appreciate your, uh, your your support. Thank you all for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all the next time, man. Stay safe out there, guys. Peace.